Simply Southern with Jim Allen and Mary Wilson. Hello and thanks for joining us for Simply Southern. I'm Mary Wilson. And I'm Jim Allen. When the folks at Ford Motor Company cobbled up a new concept car off the bones of their humble Falcon, they couldn't have predicted the legacy they would create. Nicknamed the Pony Car, the Mustang has inspired hit songs, dazzled the silver screen, and created a loyal fan base no four-wheel rival can touch. Bob Powell fell victim to pony fever long ago, and if you visit his museum in Odenville, you'll likely find that it's contagious. There are many features Americans look for in a car, but one is pretty consistent. Power. The problem is the police like it too. License and registration. The list of folks who have lost their heart to the Ford Mustang is a long one. And when the bug bit Bob Powell, it left a big mark. I worked at a service station standard station at the time back uh, in those days in the mid 60s and I remember uh, uh, a guy named Butch Ware bought a 65 white Mustang coupe brought it in the service station to get gas and we all flocked around it. Bob's love of this storied speedster inspired him to open America's largest museum dedicated to the Mustang in his hometown of Odenville. The 30,000 square foot Mustang Museum of America is a pony lover's paradise. Our concept was to have the uh, all generations, all years eventually. So we start off just having them by order, starting with a 64 and a half when you come in, all the way up through the 73s. So it's made to just walk up and down the rows and follow the generations of each year. More than a hundred cars make up Bob's collection, offering visitors a look at how the Mustang has changed over the years. Bob, this thing looks like it could fly. How did it end up with the name California Special? Different Ford dealers would request Ford to make them a special model for their market. So the California dealers in 68 asked Ford to make them a model called California Special. So they basically took a, a base Mustang Coupe and uh, added some Shelby features to it. This car here was originally a lime green color. So we went back to this is actually a 70 Boss 302 Grabber blue color. The Mustang's popularity also made it a favorite for everything from primetime TV action to pace cars and even some military duties. This is an 88 uh, Mustang. Again, it's an SSP package, that special service package Ford came out with. Uh, Air Force bought them to be what they call a U-2 chase car. Uh, when the spy plane's coming into land, he accelerates up to high speed, 110, 120 or plus, to catch up to the plane and be in radio communication with the pilot uh, to make sure that uh, they keep the wings smooth and straight to not touch the runway. A star attraction at the museum is its collection of police Mustangs. 26 states used Mustangs for police cars between 82 and 93, and we have 25 of them. You're not gonna see another collection of these police cars anywhere. We get a lot, a lot of compliments on those that people really appreciate and didn't know that there were that many out there used by different states. For guys and gals from my generation, a room full of Mustangs is definitely worth an hour or five. But Bob has been surprised how eager younger visitors are to trade up to a bigger brand of toy. It probably happens every day we're open. Someone will come in with a, a child from, gosh, maybe seven or eight years old up to 14 or 15, obviously not driving yet. And they're saying, Mustang's my car. I just love them. It's definitely a dream come true. It's uh, something we're proud of and we're we're pleased when people come and visit and, uh, and give good compliments. Now, Jim, I do believe that impersonating a police officer could be a crime. 
Well, Mary, I don't think there's enough TV magic out there to convince people that I'm a lawman. <laughs> Maybe not. But those were some cool cars. They really were. And being a Kentucky girl, I especially liked that blue California special. I just think we need to work on the name of it, though. Well, I'm telling you, it's well worth the trip. Be sure to head over to Mustang Museum of America for information to help you plan your visit.